and to say so many pain, painful words. So this is the reality that we should bear in our mind, our youngsters. So many brothers, they start practicing Islam. When they feel that people are unhappy, they leave Islam. They abandon Islamic practices. They abandon Salah. They abandon their appearance according to Sunnah. If a brother restarts, keeping beard, and when he feels that the people they are not happy, so he shaves it off. Sister, she starts wearing hijab or naqab, and when she feels people are not happy, she leaves it. So my dear brother and sister, this is the effect we should bear in our mind. That first of all, we should set our priorities, our preferences. Who we want to make happy? Who we want to seek pleasure? People or Allah subhanahu wa This is the first thing that we should keep our mind. That who I am going to make happy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my Lord, or the people of this world. If you want to make people happy, Allah has clearly stated that they can they will never be happy with you. وَلَن تَرْضَى عَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَن نَصَارَى حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ بِاللَّهِ Just by shaving your beard, they will never be happy with you. Just by abandoning your salah, they will never be happy with you. Just by taking off your hijab or naqab, they will never get happy with you. حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ بِاللَّهِ وَرْدُوا لَوْ تَكْفُرُونَ كَمَا كَفَرُوا فَتَكُونُونَ سَوَا And my dear brothers, when this is the fact, this is the reality, it happened as in history in our last football, it had happened with all prophets, including Nuh al Islam, to the Isa al Islam, to our prophet Muhammad. It happened with all prophets. All prophets, Allah says, whenever we send some prophet, so he was mocked. He was mocked at, he was laughed at. People, they made fun of him. All we prophets, people, they said, Illa qalu sahiru awadinu. People say, he is sorcerer, he is magician, he is a madman, he is a crazy man. So all prophets, because of, for what reason? Because of their deen. <clears throat> because of practicing Islam. Because of obeying Allah subhanahu This is a fact a reality of this world. So if you are mocked at because of your iman, then we should be happy, not be annoyed, not should be sad. Rather we should be happy because we are on the footsteps of prophets. We are following the footsteps of prophets. We are following the footsteps of pious people. All pious people, they are tested in this world. Allah said, Latubla Unna. Look, the beautiful word. Allah swears two times, either there is a lamb of taqid and no of taqid. Surely and surely you will be tested in this world. It's because of your iman. And the, the more iman you have, the greater are your trials. The more iman, the more trial, the more test in this world. Sa'ad ibn Waqas, Sayyidina Sa'ad ibn Waqas, he said that, I ask Allah in the Sallallahu أَيُّ النَّاسِ أَشَدُّ بَلَاءً Who are the people who tested most in this world? What was his reprisal? Al-Anbiya The people who are tested most in this world to face more criticism, to face smoke and most mockery, they were Anbiya, the pious prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. ثُمَّ الْأَمْذَلْ فَالْأَمْذَلْ يُغْدَنَ الرَّجُلُ بِحَسْكِدِينَ after Prophet and Messenger, the next generation, their Sahaba, their companions, who are less in Iman as compared to the Prophet. And a man will be tested according to his deen. The more deen you have, the greater, greater are your tests in this world. So if you are mocked, if people are not happy, so we should be happy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy with us. This is the main thing that we should be worried, we should be concerned. Then, you know, if whether my Lord is happy or not, this is the main thing. And my dear brother, Allah has advised, first with 
كما صبر أبو العزم من الرسل لسينا فرق الله كما سبوشا إن تو فيس أمسكتم سم كريتسيزم سم سنتاسيك ريماس سم سم ستيليك ريماس سم موكري سم ما شو يدو الله سير فإن تصبروا فصير صبر be patient like prophet فصير كما صبر أبو العزم من الرسل be patient like all great prophets like Nuh alayhi salam, look at the mockery he has to face for more than 950 years. For more than 950 years, he kept on facing such mockery the whole of his life. And he was the most patient among all prophets. And then other prophets, our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, first we come on sabr al-adhim in the واصبر على ما يقولون وهجرهم هجرا جميلا. Be patient on their spiritual rewards. Whatever they say, wherever you go, you are working somewhere, you are studying somewhere, because of your iman, because of your Islam, you are facing some uh, bullies and some other remarks. So be patient like prophets. So this is the first advice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah said that there's some other advice. That first of all, you are a good one in the Muslims, and a good one in the Jahirs, and if the Jahirs are the Jahirs, this is one of the attributes of believers. When they are faced by these people, they say, Salaam, they do not talk to with them. They are patient. They, are, they do not show their good behavior. Be like Prophet. Look, the beautiful example of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu when he went to Taif, and the people of Taif, they caused some harm, some mockery for the Prophet Sallam. And they threw a stone toward the Prophet Sallam. He was injured. And the plant was spilling out. And at that time, the angel, the Malakul Dimar, the angel of mountains came to the Prophet Sallam. All love in the city of Sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala witnessed all of this incident. Allah sent me, Allah allowed me. Allah wants their permission. If you allow me, I will crush all these people between these two mountains. I, mean, I want your permission. What was his reply? This is the role model. Our Prophet Muhammad is the best role model. He said, Allahumma hadi qawmi fa inna hum la Oh Allah, guide my nation. Because they do not know. They are jahil. They are ignorant people. Imam Shahri rahimahullah, <coughs> A great Imam. He was on his member and delivering a talk. Thousands of his students were sitting patiently listening. A man stood up and said, Ya Sha'bi, I'm the Rajul of Allah. Oh Sha'bi, you are a liar. And his students, they were angry. But what did, what did he say? Beautiful reply of Imam Sha'bi Rahman. He said, Allahumma in kana sadiqa fa'ufili. وَإِنْ كَانَ كَارِبَ فَغْفِرْ لَهُ Wallah, if he is true in his blame, Wallah, forgive me. Wallah, if he is a liar, Wallah, forgive him. So they, they are good model. Our Prophet Sallallahu Sahaba, the Aywa, the Muhadithu, they are the best good model. So first, be kama sabar abdul hadhi na rusi. وَإِذَا خَارَبُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَا this is the first advice. Allah said, "Wala tasmaunna min al-ladin aqoolu al-kitab min qablikum wa min al-ladin ashraku adan kafir." Surely you will have to listen some painful words from people, not only from ignorant, not only from mushrikun, even from the people of previous scriptures, ahlul kitab, those who know, yaarifuna hu. The ma yaarifuna bnaam, they know clearly that he is a true prophet. They know clearly this is a true book of Allah subhanahu Still they will say some words, painful words. And if you are patient, first patient. And the second, and you keep on doing, performing good deeds. Keep on fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep on doing righteous and virtuous deeds. This is second advice. And you keep on fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You never abandon because of the people. You never stop practicing Islam because of people, because people are unhappy. So my dear brother, Allah says, Ana abna shuwaka yani shirk. Man amila amalan ashwaka ma'ya wayni taraktuhu wa shirka. He who wants to do or say some 
partner with me. I am free from them. I am free from the people who associate a partner with me. I, if a man, he performs some good deed and he wants to be happy and also some other people. He associates an other partner with me. I leave him and also I leave all of his uh, shirk, all his own association. Allah never accepts any deed when you have a minor intention to make people happy. When we grow beard, when you keep your brother uh, above your ankle, when you practice Islam, when you stop of, uh, doing, committing sins, when you start coming to masjid, start practicing Islam, be, be reminded, I am going only and only to Allah subhanahu wa This is the first thing. And my dear brother, when you have this intention, surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you, will save you. There's a beautiful hadith. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man Radiallahu an wa arda anhu nas. Beautiful hadith of Sahih Ibn Hibban and also Imam Tirmidhi from the report of this hadith. Man ilnamaza lidallahi bi sakhat in nas. Radiallahu an wa arda an nas an. He who seeks the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the expense of people this pleasure. He never cared about people this pleasure, whether they are happy or not. He never cared. And my brother, this is a sign of a man being lucky. Allah says, "Wala yafaf dalam talai, zali kafatullah." The believer they never care about the people's mockery, about their murder, criticism. They never care. This is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's grace upon someone. The Prophet Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Inna sa'id laman jinni wal fitr." The most lucky one a person who escapes from fitr, who escapes from trial, who escapes from all these fitr we are seeing in this world. And who is the next? Wala mani utuliya fasaba. And a sa'id, a lucky one is, who is tested in this world and he keeps patience. Keeps patience, he never can go to people. So this is the best practice of a believer. That he never came about people's mockery. The Prophet said, Man in Tamasa is Allah in Safa in Nas, Rabbi Allah in Wa'arda in Hum Nas. Woman in Tamasa is Allah in Nas in Safa in Nas, Safi Allah in Alay, Wa'asfata Alay in Nas. He who sees people's pleasure at the expense of Allah in his play, he keeps, he makes people happy and does not care whether Allah is happy or unhappy. What will happen? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will get unhappy with him and ultimately people will also be unhappy with him. How can you make Allah happy? How can you, how can you make people happy when Allah your Lord is unhappy with you? How can you make? Imam Ibn Raja rahimahullah, he said a beautiful word. He said that, that when on this earth you are make, making Allah unhappy, who Allah, the creator of this earth, Allah is Rabbul, Rabbul Nas, Rabbul Arba, who is the Lord of people, Lord of everything. How can you, when you annoy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you make him unhappy, how can you make people happy when your Lord is unhappy with you? My dear brother, this is the summary of this ayah that وَإِن تَصْبِرُ وَتَتَّقُوا فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ مِنْ عَزْمِ الْمُورِ If you are patient and if you keep on praying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, keep on performing good deeds, keep on practicing Islam, you will never care about the people whether they are happy or unhappy. So this is the greatest deed from you and this is the uh, so secret of our success in this world. And then in Africa, we will have the Tawfiq to come إن الحمد لله صلاة السلام على رسول الله جبار. آلك خطبة جمعة أرسال خطبة جمعة. دون خطبة جمعة كلا خلاصة هي كإيمان لانه كباج الله تعالى إنسان هو أزماته هي أزمائش إن إيمان كا إنجادي حصة هي 
احسب الناس ان يتركوا ان يقولوا امنا وهم لا يفتوا ممكن نہیں ہے کہ انسان ایمان لائے اور دنیا اس کے لیے گل و گلزار ہو جائے یہ دنیا دار العمل ہے دار الجزا نہیں ہے یہاں صرف عمل کرنا اور جب ایمان لائے گا انسان تو اس کی آزمائش ہوگی اس کے امتحانات آئیں گے اس پر مسائب آئیں گے آفات آئیں گے تمام انبیاء کی ہسٹری ہمارے سامنے ہم نے سب کا جو اس پر بیان کیا تھا کیسے ہر نبی کو آزمایا گیا کیسے لوگوں نے اس کو بلیم کیا ساہر کہا گیا مجموع کہا گیا شاہر کہا گیا کہاں کہا گیا کیاں کہ ان کے الزامات میں کیوں لگائیں گے صرف ایمان کی وجہ سے صرف دین کی وجہ سے فَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يُتَذِّبُونَ وَلَا مِنَّ الْوَالْمِينَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ اے نبی یہ آپ کو جھٹا نہیں کہتے بس کہ اللہ کی آیات کو جھٹا رہے ہیں پہلی امتوں میں لوگوں نے اللہ کے نیک بندوں پر جو الزام فراشت کی وہ مضموع صدم کیے کیا وجہ تھی صرف ایمان وَمَا نَقَمُوا مِنْهُ إِلَّا أَنْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ الْعَزِيزِ الْحَمْدِ ایمان بڑا خوصر شیر کہا شاعر نے کہ یہ شہادت گہِ الفت میں قدم رکھنا ہے یہ شہادت گہِ الفت میں قدم رکھنا ہے اور لوگ آسان سمجھتے ہیں مسلمان ہونا مسلمان ہونا یہ مسائل میں ڈالنے والی بات ہے اپنے آپ کو آزمائشوں میں القائم فیہم علا دینی کن قامی علا جمر ایک وقت آئے گا کہ دین پر چلنا ایسے ہوگا جیسے ہاتھ میں انگیارہ آمنا مشکل ہو جاتا ہے ہاتھ پر آگ کا انگیارہ رکھنا جیسے مشکل ہے دین پر چلنا مشکل ہو جائے گا اور اس زمانہ میں جو فتنہ کا دمانہ ہے جہاں مشکلات ہوں گی جو اس وقت اللہ کے دین پر چلے گا العبادت فی الحرد والفتنہ کا ہدوہ دن علیج آپ کی صحیح حدیث ہے کہ جو فتنہ کے دمانہ میں مشکلات کے دمانہ میں جو ہر جب قبل عام ہو ہر طرف فتنہ و فساد ہو دین پر اس دور میں چلے گا اس کو کیا سبا ملے گا کہ ہی دیواتی علیہ جیسا کہ مکہ سے ہجرت کر کے مدینہ نبی کے شہر میں جانا نبی کو ملنے کے لئے جانے کا سبا اللہ کو وہی سبا بتا ہے اس کا سبا جانتا ہے اللہ کے اولائی کا اعظم دعوت عند اللہ جو ایمان لائیں گے اس پر ہجرت کریں گے اولائی کا اعظم دعوت تو جو اس زمانہ میں یہ فتنہ کا دور ہے جو اس زمانہ میں لوگوں کی پروانی کا تھا وہ سب سے بڑا بدنصیب آتی ہے جو لوگوں کی پیشانیاں دے کر ایمان لاتا ہو کتنی ہماری سسٹرز ہیں جو نکاح شروع کیا اور ہیراب شروع کیا دیکھا کہ سکول میں پڑھ یا اور معاشر میں نہیں تو ہم ایسا دیماغ سننا پڑھ کے ہیراب ہوتا ہے کس کو خوش کرنے کے لیے کام کرتے ہیں کہ لوگوں کو خوش کرنے کے لیے اور لوگ کبھی خوش نہیں ہوں گے جب تک فَتَكُونُونَ سَوَا فَتَكْوَدْتُوا لَوْ تَكْفُرُونَ كَمَا كَفَرُوا فَتَكُونُونَ سَوَا جب تک تم مکمل اسلام چھوڑ کر تم ان کے نشے قدم پر نہیں کبھی لوگ راضی نہیں ہو سکتے انسان سب یہ دیکھے کہ میرا اللہ مجھ سے راضی ہے احفظ اللہ یحفظ آپ نے اپنے صحابی نصیر کی لیے اپنے اللہ سے تعلق ہے اس کی حفاظت کر دیں ہر وقت یہ سوچو کہ اللہ مجھ سے راضی ہے کہ اللہ مجھ سے نراض ہے کیا میرے اس عامل سے اللہ خوش ہوگا یا اللہ نراض ہوگا اگر اللہ نراض ہے ساری دنیا خوش کی ہو لگا مت ہے کہ من اعرض عن ذکری فإن له معیشتا ونگا ونحشرہو یوم قیامت جاؤں کبھی ممکن نہیں ہے کہ اس دنیا میں اللہ کے خلاف اعلان جنگ کر کے بغاوت کر کے اللہ سے دشمی لے کر اللہ کے دین سے مو موڑ کر کبھی ممکن نہیں انسان عمل اور سکون حاصل کر سکتے اللہ کے ذکر اللہ تطمئن کی فرم ایک دنوں کا سکون اللہ کے ذکر میں اللہ کی عبادت میں ایمان میں ہے اور اللہ کی بغاوت یہ دنیا کی زندگی تباہ و برباد کریں اور آخر و تباہ و برباد کریں اور عبادت ہے اللہ تعالیٰ نے دیس میں دیکھتا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ نے 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 اللہ تعال